section of python again we are in the fourth sessions and today we are going to cover strings and text files okay so first we will start with the strings okay and we will go as much as we can go till files okay and the rest of it we can continue in the uh, next class so this is going to be a kind of a rigorous uh, a bit of a lengthy session <clears throat> Okay, so I hope that you already got the materials that was sent to uh, you, the same thing. So you're supposed to get two IPython notebook for today. So one for the strings and one for the files. Just check and let me know that all of you have downloaded that. And on the top of that, you're supposed to get two text files it's called inbox and inbox hyphen short. Okay, so I hope that you have downloaded the file. So uh, please open this IPython notebook in your system as well so that you can follow along with whatever I'm doing. Fine. Okay, so what we're going to start with is just get a deeper, a, a little more deeper idea about strings. Okay. So strings is anything like just any values which is enclosed by a single quote or a double quote. Okay, so that is what we have seen. So basically it's a sequence of letters or numbers or maybe the both a combination of letter and or numbers, okay? And it's a string as long as it is enclosed in a single quote or a double quote, okay? So I have already a string created over here which is stored in this object called string, okay? So let us run this and let us take a look. Let us use this type function and pass this string object through it and so once we run it it shows us that this object is of a type string okay now <clears throat> each of these letters that are present in the string can be extracted separately okay in python the indexing always starts from zero okay so it does not start from one Okay, so those who have done R programming okay, have some experience in R programming, not necessary, but like the R, it always starts with one. But in Python, the indexing always starts from zero. So when I'm saying that string subsetted by zero, so it means that I'm calling, requesting this first letter out of the string. Okay. So this gives me the first letter. Okay. So when I'm saying, suppose that I want this letter E out of the string, which is in the fourth position in the sequence, and instead of string four, I need to mention over here string three, okay, because it's going to give me this fourth letter. So it starts with zero, one, two, three, and four. And the last one is the, which if, if, if it is nine letters, the last one is the, is indexed by, should be indexed by eight. Okay. There is a function from which we can get that how long our string is. Okay, so there is a function called alien and you have seen this function before. Okay, so while we discussed that how to, uh, how, how to get the value of the, the length of the list. Okay, and so if I pass the string object through this length function that actually returns me how long my string is, okay. Now here's a small question for all of you, okay? So we know that this is a string, okay? So which contains the, uh, the word pineapple in it. And this is how the subsetting of the string is done, okay? And this is how the length is calculated. So if you want to extract the last letter of the string, so what should you have written? For example, means I, I just want to extract this E from this entire string. So what do you think should be, should my code be? Yeah, so, right. So if, if I write string of nine, that will definitely give me, so what I'm looking for, okay. So, sorry string of nine minus one is definitely going to give me what i'm looking for or i should be writing string of len of the string minus one now if i just if i do not include this minus one and i run this so what happens is that 
look at look at look over here so i get a different type of error okay so i get index error okay so this index error says that the string index is out of the range so remember that are you always keeping track of the errors that we are getting okay so it's very important okay so we got a type error so and, and now we got an index error okay so it's basically saying that the string is now out of the range okay so there is nothing means if i just run this part there is nothing called an index nine for this particular string so if i want to generalize a function which is going to give me always the last letter of this string i'm always going to use length because that generalizes okay so this nine does not generalizes okay so this generalizes and then subtract one from that index okay so that's how it works